Welcome back to another Monday Online Drummer.com lesson. I'm Nate Brown. To follow along with this lesson, you'll need the sheet music titled Kicking It and Filling It. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the digital edition of Drum Magazine. Starting next month, I'm going to have an exclusive lesson just for the digital edition each month. Also, we just launched live lessons on OnlineDrummer.com, and I'm excited to offer this. It's a one-on-one -on -one Skype lesson. So if any of the lessons that I teach on Mondays or any of the sheet music online, if there's anything you want help with, one-on-one -on -one help, you can sign up for a live lesson, just a one-off lesson, um, and you get personal help. Let's get started with the foundational groove here. The idea of this lesson is to really work out the bass drum foot. I'll start just by playing the foundational groove twice through. Okay, so you probably saw there's a lot of bass drum in there, double strokes in a row. Um, the only way to get better at this, obviously, is to take it slow at a tempo where you're able to do it and play it with a metronome, gradually increase that speed little by little, maybe even just five beats uh, per minute each time. So I'll count this and play it slowly. One beat and the two and the eight and the four beat. One beat and the two and the three and the four beat and the. Now I'll just play it slowly. Now to make it fun and to give your foot a little extra workout, I put drum fill options there. So what you'll do is play the foundational groove and then you'll repeat it. The drum fill goes on that second measure. So you'll see that I have written there, play fill here after repeat. That's uh, where you're going to play the fill there after the repeat. So I'll play the groove and then I'm going to play drum fill one so you can hear what it sounds like and then back into the groove. All right, taking that slowly, that drum fill number one. One, three, and a two. That's too slow. One, three, and a two, and a three, three, and a four, three, and. You see that the whole time the eighth notes on the hi hat remain consistent. That's going to help you keep time. All right, I'm going to play uh, the drum beat and fill number two, and then back into the drum beat. All right, I'll count number two for you. One e and a two e and three e and four e and a. It helps if you really focus on that and four because everything is really falling on the the off or the syncopated rhythm there. All right, I'll play number three along with the beat. I'll play number three slowly and count it. One and a two D, a D and a. Probably the most difficult part about that uh, is at the beginning of number three, you got to wait for that and to hit your double bass. And uh, I a lot of times want to hit right away. That's kind of difficult too, so take that slowly and work your way up. All right, number four. All right, number four can be tricky because you've got a uh, snare and two basses. You've got this three pattern uh, going against the, the eighth notes on the hi-hat. So practice that sequence over and over. And then you come out of it on four, four, eight, and five. Number five introduces the open hi-hat. Let me play that for you.
All right, for that one, it starts exactly the same as number four, but on count four, instead of having it on the snare, you've got a left hand on the hi-hat. And then it closes on the and. Back into the beat. I'll play that slowly. And I'll play number six. All right, number six, um, you're going to break away from that eighth note on the hi-hat feel. It's going to go uh, right, left, right, left. Make sure you're closing the hi-hat uh, when you're hitting the snare. And, uh, and then two, eight, and up. Uh. I'll do that a little slower. And basically, you're repeating the same thing twice. You're repeating this. And then you play it again. It doesn't look like that, but it's just broken up um, into counts. Again. And then it ends with. So bring that right stick back to the hi hat. Four, eight, and down. One, two, eight, two. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Uh, I played it at 110 uh, beats per minute. You could do it faster than that, slower than that, depending on uh, how much of a workout you want. And again, we've launched live lessons. So if you want private help with this lesson and these types of beats, just sign up for a live lesson. I'm Nate Brown. Keep drumming.